Welcome back to another episode of Weekly Chew. This week on Weekly Chew, we'll be making Canadian style frittata. Let's take a look at the ingredients that we will be needing for this recipe. We'll be needing butter, bacon, a dozen eggs, paprika, black pepper, salt, mushrooms, sliced ham, medium cheddar cheese, a whole onion, four or five white potatoes, and pork sausage. First we'll start off by preheating our oven to about 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Then we'll oil our cooking pan just to prevent the sausage from sticking to the pan. Then we'll add our sausage and place them into the oven until golden brown. Next we will peel our potatoes. After we've peeled all the potatoes, we will begin to shred them. Now, the next step is crucial. We'll have to rinse out our potatoes to remove most of the starch. After soaking for a couple minutes, we will then strain the water. We will repeat this two or three more times. Then set aside in cold water to prevent the potatoes from turning brown. Make sure you flip your sausages from time to time. Next, we will shred the cheese. Approximately a cup of cheddar cheese will do. Now we will finally dice a whole onion.
Next, we will slice our sliced ham into sliced bits. Make sure you keep it clean as much as possible. Now on to the mushrooms. Next, we will slice the mushrooms into thinly cut pieces. Once you are finished, set those aside and move on to the bacon. We will be using about five or six strips of bacon, and we will julienne cut them, which means cut into long, thin strips. Now that we've cut, sliced, and diced our ingredients, our sausage should be done. We will remove our sausage and set aside, leaving the oven on at 350 degrees, as we will be using it a little later. At a medium high, we will begin to cook our bacon. Make sure you use a cast iron or a pan that could be placed into the oven. Next, we will start on the eggs. We'll crack about a dozen eggs into a mixing bowl. Once you've completed that, add the ham and cheese. Add a half a teaspoon of pepper, we will not add salt to this mixture because cheese contains a lot of salt already. 